Okay, this is my improvement video this week. I got this spreadsheet from John that kind of shows, um, it's like a problem tracker and shows different problems we're having in the shop. And you sort of put the information here, like how many problems or how many occurrences you had of the problem. And then as you go, you can click on the little data tab down at the bottom and it shows you a Pareto graph of all the different problems. But he wanted it to sort um, automatically so that, you know, the Pareto graph would be largest to smallest. Um, so what I did is I wanted to automate that for him. So I came in here and I recorded a macro. And the macro allows you to sort of, you know, set this thing up so that it does the code for you. So you do the physical process by recording the macro and then stopping the macro and it makes the code. So that's the first step. And then once I had the code, all I had to do was come into this data worksheet, add this little line of code that says call that macro. And so that would sort of set it up for him. So as he clicked on that tab, it would automatically sort. So here we are in the back in the spreadsheet. You know, you go back to the main tab. This is where you enter your data. And then somebody wants to go and click on the main, the data tab. And you can see it automatically sorted the data largest to smallest. So the Pareto graph would be correct. So now nobody has to do that manually. It can happen automatically. Um, and that was kind of the game plan to solve this problem for him. Just a simple little thing. If I change these back and go back to the data tab, you'll see that it resorted itself automatically. So just a simple solution, um, something quick and easy, but it saves him some time, makes his life better. So that's my thing to this.